what's up everybody happy wednesday hope all you're having a great day so far today getting into this episode of gh first and foremost i'm just gonna forewarn y'all um because i know a bunch of people probably gonna say well you didn't talk about carly and joss i'm not going to talk about them because it was nothing to talk about with them there was literally it was a waste of space for them you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to keep seeing them talk about Jason and the feds and Dex and her relationship. It was boring. Okay, that part, it was very boring. It was nothing to, to it was nothing to talk about with them. It's just same old, same old, wash, rinse, repeat. So, we're going to move on from them. Um, Maxie is a fucking boss. Let me tell you something. Maxie is the head bitch in charge. Because the way she took control... Of that situation this is why i said in my previous video i feel like deception does not need a pr team maxi is the pr team and that's sad it is good but it's sad that she got to basically play ceo and head of pr you know what i'm saying that's crazy but she was handling maxi handled the damn thing like she was putting them fires out left and right she kept coming up with ideas and all her ideas were smart because I do agree. Should Blaze be given an interview in Crimson? No. Absolutely not. Because I agree with Maxie and I agree with Lucy. They need that space to sell product. You know what I'm saying? But Lucy, here, here they are trying to do damage control. And all Lucy ass is worried about, oh, we could do a two-page, um, you know, do a two-page article about the history of deception. I can give an interview. See, that's what I'm talking about with her. They are trying to do damage control. Is she trying to turn this into all about me, 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 me? That's all she wanted to do. Because let's be real. We seen that damn infomercial that she did where she talked about herself and all her accomplishments. Ain't no telling what else she going to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure if she did this interview in Crimson, it would be all about her. And I'm glad Maxie vetoed that. Maxie was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to sell this product, but we're going to put a little message in there that state you know, yada, yada, yada. And we're going to put the Deception logo. I, I loved it, you know, and put it out there that they stand by, Blaze. You know, I like it because it was simple but effective. You know what I'm saying? It gets the point across without it being overly dramatic and all that type of stuff. It's brilliant. Freaking brilliant. Um, Lucy is not here for Lois giving her suggestions. <laughs> Lucy said, oh... Lucy was like, listen, you ain't got no vote here. Normally, you know what? Like I said, I like Lois, but I agree with Lucy on this. Why is Lois even at this meeting? She's the co-face of Deception. She's not a part of the executive team. So I feel like this is an executive meeting. She should not be there. You know what I'm saying? Because it technically don't concern her for the moment. So she need to go. You know what I'm saying? No no shade, but it's just, this should have been just big bosses. That's it. Hell, Tracy should have been at the meeting. BLQ should have been at the meeting. But I get that they're dealing with this whole Finn debacle and stuff like that. So I get why they weren't there. But after watching this, it's more clear to me. Tracy needs to come to the office. Her and BLQ need to come to the office. They need to get some structure in the company. They need structure. Because... It just seems like everybody got an opinion and something to say, but we don't know exactly who's in charge. Because the way Maxie handled it, she took complete control. But we know Maxie isn't the CEO. She's still creative director and VP. You know what I'm saying? She's not a CEO. So I feel like we need to get these titles and, you know, the chain of command needs to be, you know, organized. Like who's in charge of what? Who's over who? You know what I mean? That's what I think needs to happen at this point. But I love Maxie being in charge. You know, she's a natural born leader. She knows what to do. You know, she know how to handle a crisis. Um, you know, I get where Nina's coming from with, with Adrian and stuff like that. I get why she was pissed off at him. Because what he did by leaking that video had, you know, it had ramifications for a lot of people, not just Natalia. It damaged some people, including deception. So I get why she was pissed off. But her demanding to know his source and stuff, I mean, Adrian was crazy for even giving up Ava, Ava's name. Like, that was just dumb. I get that he trying to save his job and stuff like that. I understand that. But 
as a journalist, you never give up your source, even if you're being threatened. You just don't do that. Um, and it was funny with Lucy trying to sit there and tell Scott to drop Ava as a client. Talking about, oh, you won't be handling this. You won't be getting no more you know what with you know who. I was like, I don't need to hear that. I don't need to hear hear about y'all sex capades. Even Maxie was grossed out. She was like, all right, y'all can take that out of my office. <laughs> I felt her in that. Like, we don't, need, we don't need to hear that, okay? We got a crisis going on here. We ain't got time to hear about y'all y'all bedroom antics. But my thing with Lucy is, who is she to tell him who to represent? Because, for one, Ava always got drama in her life, so she's always going to need legal counsel. So that's good billable hours for Scott. I don't see him giving up a bag like that just to get some poom poom from Lucy that he done had a million times. I don't see him doing that. Um... Because that's a hell of a bad to give up, especially with current things going on. Please, you'll be giving up some good money. Um, But my thing with Nina that kind of pissed me off with her firing Adrian, it's like, this is what you hired him for. I, I get why, she, like I said, I understand why she mad, but you hired him for stuff like this. Like, it's bringing drama is bringing clicks is you know everybody's reading this article everybody's listening to the audio it's bringing traffic that's what she wanted it's gonna blow the roof off the invader you know what i'm saying this is the hot topic this is what everybody in port charles is talking about that's what she wanted she wanted him to do this and that's what he's doing his job and now she want to fire him for doing what she hired him to do because it affects her or people around her like I said, I get it, but it's like at the same time, listen, when you're dealing with gossip, you can't pa you can't pick and choose what gossip just because you're close to somebody. No, gossip sells. I don't give a damn if it's your mama. Put it out there. It's going to bring them clicks. It's going to bring that money. Your mama going to forgive you once you get that new Tiffany's box with that new diamond up in there. She going to forgive you. So listen, I do what I got to do now and just ask for forgiveness later. The hell with it. Business is business, and this was purely business. Um, and there go Maxie again, putting out another fire. Maxie said, "No, no, no." She said, "You know what? I suggest that you don't fire him." I like how Maxie came up with that plan. She was like, "No, I think he should keep his job, provided that from now on, when he put out stories, they have to go directly through Nina for approval. And if he disobeys, then I say fire his ass, and we put it out there. We put the word out there. We ruin his career, basically, that he has no journalistic um, integrity. He'll never get another job again. Maxie was smart. See, this is why Maxie's a boss. She put out so many fires <laughs> in under 10 minutes, too. I said, go ahead, Maxie. You deserve every little bit of your coin and then some. Like, Tracy need to come up in there and write her a check. Like, she need a bonus. Because Maxie was handling business, big business. Um, she was doing the damn thing. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. As far as Blaze and Christina go, like, I, I do agree. My only issue with Ava was that she did out Blaze. And I feel like that was just fucked up because you're supposed to, when you're dealing with that, you're supposed to come out when you're ready. You know what I'm saying? So I do feel like Ava was fucked up for that. But Blaze needs to spend this. I totally agree that Maxie and them shouldn't put her in an interview as far as put her in an interview for Crimson. She should not interview with Crimson because they need to sell product. But I do feel like Blaze needs to put out a statement. And I do feel like she needs to line up some interviews with some major publications and denounce her mother. She needs to separate herself from her mother. And let the world know that she obviously is not a coward and she does not share her mother's views. She was manipulated by her mother. I will put all the blame at Natalia's feet to save my career at this point. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Go big. I like that Sasha came there and stuff, you know, with some words of encouragement and some advice and all that about how to handle it and whatnot. I feel like Blaze need all the, all the advice she can get. You know, and I feel like Christina, if she wants to save her center or be a part of the center, she need to put out a statement too. You know what I'm saying? Like, do some damn damage control here. You know, take control of this. Shift, shift the blame. Shift. Do whatever you got to do. You know. Um. So anyway, moving on from that, Sonny was pissing me off. Sonny ain't shit. Like that man ain't shit. 
Like this woman, I don't get like I don't get it. Like he's more mad at Ava because she had that recording release than he is at the person standing in front of him. Like he's not even mad at Natalia. Like that's crazy. Then got the nerve to tell Alexis, oh, that's this is my guess. And then try to get Alexis to leave. No, the trick in front of you need to leave. Like Sonny could go to hell with gasoline drawers on, cause listen, I'm tired of him. Like that was just dumb. Oh, Ava's going to pay. Ava's going to pay. What about the hoe in front of you? What? No consequence for her? And the only reason why I feel like Sonny is not coming after Natalia is because he want, you know, obviously he want to get some of her tres leche. That's all it is. He wants some of her tres leche. That's all that shit is. Because come on now. After what she did, you ain't got no anger towards her whatsoever and i totally agree with alexis natalia talking about oh well this is how i am or i can't you know see things differently or whatever alexis was like sure you can it's 2024 have an open mind you know what i'm saying like come on now you know oh this is me this is all right me get your head knocked um you know now she wants to hear making phone calls to blaze and all that trying to get her to talk to her only thing Blaze need to tell her is you're fired. Goodbye. That's all she need to tell her at this point. Sonny done lost his ever-loving mind. But I ain't gonna lie. I love those scenes between Alexis and Ava. I loved it. Every second of it. Alexis was definitely in her bag in that scene. Like Even though Alexis can be very self-righteous and hypocritical, because she is and she was, um... I like how she kind of tried to play mind games with Ava. Like, oh, I could have recorded this whole conversation. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I like how she tried to play that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and Ava was keeping her cool and stuff like that. You know, I give it to them. They was both powerhouses in that scene. But I definitely agree with Scott. Ava is in some shit at this point because now that Alexis got her law license back and she's threatening a lawsuit, it's going to be a mess. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a battle. And you know Scott pretty much gave her an idea. Because Scott was like, the only way you're going to beat Sonny in custody court is if Sonny shoots somebody on camera or he has like some type of public breakdown or something like that. And you saw that twinkle in Ava's eye. Ava had that look in her eye like, oh, I can make that happen. Oh, Ava plotting. Let me tell you something. Sonny and Alexis and, Alexis and everybody else can make all the threats they want against Ava. But let me tell you something. I'm talking about, oh, she's alone. She ain't got no friends, no family. She all by herself. Let me tell you something. A wounded Ava, a wounded animal is a dangerous animal. If Ava's considered to be wounded at this point because she has nobody and things are slipping away from her, that makes her more dangerous, not less dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because now, like Sonny say, oh, Ava's this, Ava's that. Okay, if you know that Ava is not to be played with, then that means you know she gunning for your ass. That means you know there's no holes barred with her. So you might want to watch your back. Here they go with these damn fireworks. Um, So you might want to watch your back because Ava's not nothing to play with. She ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? Like she's not going to crawl up into a ball and just accept defeat. Not from this lawsuit and damn sure not from the custody battle. And my whole thing is she knows, I believe she knows that Sonny beat up Dex and stuff like that. So she could find a way to go public with that. You know, try to do something to get proof of that. You know what I'm saying? Go public. But I know her. She's going to try to get Sonny to go off the rails in public. It, it'll help her. It will definitely help her case. Um, cause honestly, if Sonny think Ava not fit to be a parent, then he damn sure not fit. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. Um, but I don't know if Sonny going to sit back and wait for Alexis to go after her with this lawsuit. Cause you know, Sonny, he a hothead and he might try to take matters into his own hands. But, um, I feel like this lawsuit is going to, it's not going to be good for, you know, for Ava. If this thing go, you know, continue and go down, it's not, it's not going to be good. Cause I agree with Scott. Alexis is a formidable foe. Like, she ain't no punk in that courtroom. Um, so, it's going to be a mess. Um, ooh. So, anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace. Happy 4th of July. Hope you all have a great, great 4th. Hope you have fun. 
Don't do too much drinking. Um, especially if you got to go to work Friday. Don't do too much now. But anyway, enjoy. Have a good night. Peace.